All right, you guys, what is going on? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're gonna address the elephant in the room. The title of this video, I booked a ticket. I'm coming to the US, baby. The quicker you're here, the faster you go. That's why where I come from, the only thing we know is so it finally happened you know there's there's two things i want to achieve out of this video one is addressing the topic which is uh you know the tickets that i bought to the us which was actually a, a christmas present to myself that's what i am putting it down to because you know what i don't have the money for it but i feel like it's it's necessary okay for certain reasons and i will get into that but the second thing i want to do is to wish you guys a merry christmas of course merry christmas and a happy new year by the time this video comes out, it's most likely going to be Christmas Day. And uh, so with that said, I want to say Merry Christmas. Today's date is the 24th of December 2018. And uh, that makes, makes me happy. Makes me happy to be here for Christmas. Makes me happy to, to wish you guys Merry Christmas. You know, Christmas has been non-existent for me for the last five years. But this year is different. I'm not working for a start, which is fucking good. And uh, my sister and my, my mum are here in Alice Springs, so tomorrow morning, I'm actually going to work tonight, I'm working night shift, I, I start at 7pm, I finish at 7am, at 9am I'm going round to my mum and my sister's place, we're going to have a glass of champagne with breakfast, and exchange some presents, and have a great day. So I hope you guys do the same, because that's what it's all about. It's not about working, fuck the money, the money can wait, you know, it's about family, it's about relaxing. It's about reminiscing on the year. It's about setting goals for the new year. It's about all of that stuff. So whatever you do, wherever you are, Merry Christmas. Secondly, let's address the, the topic of this video. I did it. I booked tickets. I'm coming to the USA. I want to put the dates out there today so that if anyone does really, you know, want to collaborate or if anyone's interested in training with me whilst I'm in the US, and around the, the area that I'm in, fucking hit me up, man. This is your opportunity to hit me up through Instagram. We'll organize it. Just don't stand me up, okay? Because I'm only there for 16 days and I want to make the most of it. So, on the 30th of January, I fly out from Brisbane to LA. With the time difference, it's, it's actually, it's funny. I leave Brisbane at 11 a.m. on the 30th and I fly for 14, well, 13 hours and I arrive in LA at 1 p.m. on the same day. So really it's only a two hour difference. So I'm not sure how the jet lag's gonna, <laughs> gonna affect me, but basically I'm assuming I'll, I'll jump in an Uber and go to my accommodation, chill out, and then, uh, then it'll be the 31st of January, and that'll be my first full day in the US. So I am gonna be based around LA, I assume, although there was one thing that I was thinking about doing in Phoenix, which is a Coles kicking camp. So this is the American version of Pro Kick on a much grander scale. I think there's like there's hundreds of kids that go to these things, and um, you know I'll probably be the oldest one there. But that is that's one thing I did pencil in, and I tried to organise the trip around that. So on the 9th and 10th of February, 2019, they've got a, a kicking camp in Phoenix, and uh, I assume I'll be staying there for those two nights. So apart from that, of course we've got the Super Bowl, which is on the 4th. Or the thir third or fourth. So I'm, I'm going to be in the US for the Super Bowl. Obviously, I'm not going to go and watch it. Although, if anyone does have a spare ticket and you want to fly me out there and you want me to make a vlog about it, fucking hit me up, man. This is your opportunity, okay? I'm going to be in the US. I'm definitely going to be able to, to fly different places around the US. I'm not, I'm not stuck on the coast, although that will be where my accommodation and my base is, is set. So this video is basically just to, to let you guys know about the plan. 30th of January, I arrive in the US. I'm going to be based in California, like I said. You know, there's a couple of things I want to do. I want to do a tour of, of LA, of course. I want to see the Hollywood sign. I want to, I want to go to Gold's Gym, Venice. I want, to, I want to possibly see some professional sport. I definitely want to meet up with some of you guys and, and collaborate. But I've got to be honest, the ones that I really want to meet up with, the ones that I really want to hit me up through Instagram is not just for a meetup. This is for actual training. I want to get down and dirty, man. I want to do some hard training. I want to do strength and conditioning stuff. I want to do skills-based stuff. If you are a, a college athlete, if you are an athlete playing football currently and you're active and you want to get some training in with me, hit me up. 
Jacob underscore 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 McDonald is my Instagram name. Follow me there, hit me up with a message and we will organize something. And I'll be bringing my camera and my drone and my speed gates and my cones and my cleats and all that shit. I've got five footballs. I'm bringing everything. I want to make this trip the best it can be. And then when I do get back to Australia, I will face the music, which is the wrath of the mother of my child. Now, I assume she won't be watching this video, but if she does, then I'll be receiving a text message very shortly. And if she doesn't, then I'll have to break it to her at some point. Now, I didn't know whether I was going to mention this in this video, but I will just briefly. Look, the last couple of months haven't been easy for me. Ever since I got back from Bali, my, well, my world changed. My, my daughter moved away. My ex moved with my daughter to Queensland. So for the last two months or a month and a half, my daughter has not been here with me and I haven't been able to see her. Now in that time, the pressure that has been put on me from the mother has been intense and it's been, you know, some of the words that have been said are, are fucking disgusting. And there's been things that I've done in the past, you know, the, the amount of time that I've sacrificed giving her and the baby to work on other things is disgusting in my, on my part. So, you know, she does have a point, but the reality is, guys, is that my daughter's not here anymore. I can't see her. So it's always on my mind. So this trip is, could well be my last chance. I don't know if I'm going to go to Pro Kick. I don't know if I can sacrifice a year down in Melbourne away from my daughter and another four years in the, in the US away from her. I, I don't know if I can do it. I mean, even just the last six weeks has really affected me negatively. So I want the best of both worlds and I, want, I don't want to die wondering. I don't want any regrets. So you know what, this trip to the US is to, is to cross some T's and dot some I's in my life and on this YouTube channel. We need to bring this thing full circle. I'm, I'm not going to go and watch a football game over there, but I'm definitely going to experience the culture. I'm going to have gone to the US, which is something I could only have dreamed of six months ago. But now I've, I've got an actual reason and I feel positive about it, man. I, I just, I hope that I get out of the trip what I hope to get out of it. And then when I do come back to Australia, I've actually got plans in place to not come back to Alice Springs and to actually move closer to my daughter which will be in Queensland and so I'll be saying goodbye to Alice Springs from the 30th of January and that is the big announcement I didn't know when or where I was going to say that but that that's the truth guys so if you have made it to the end of this video I'm moving I'm leaving Alice Springs I'm leaving it behind I am moving to Queensland I'm not going to tell you exactly where yet because it could change but um, yeah I'm, I'm going to be following my daughter and trying to continue with whatever goals I have whilst being closer to her because without without her in my life I'm fucking miserable and the pressure that's being put on me like I mentioned before is intense and it is enough to give someone panic attacks and I'll just leave it there so I've got a whole lot going on but like I said I'm really excited about this trip and if you do want to hit me up and you do want to meet up get some training in. I have had offers in the past, now's your opportunity to, to send that offer through again. 30th of January to the 16th of February. I can't wait and I can't wait to see my daughter after that. And if you are watching this, Miffy, if you're watching this video, which you won't be, but if you are, just know that I've got to do this. I have to do this. If I came to Queensland and sacrificed everything, moved from Alice, got a new job and settled down without having taken at least a two week trip to the US just to see what it was like, just to, just to see if I'm capable of playing football, then I'd be doing myself a disservice and I'd be even more selfish with my time because I'd just be constantly think I can't be present. When I'm thinking about something constantly every day, I'm not present, I'm not there. You know, I'm, I'm always wondering, could I do this? What happened? What if? Could I? Should I? Would I? You know what? I have. So I'll see you in the next one, guys. Peace out.